Hi Aries, welcome to my channel and welcome to your November 2023 tarot reading for the week, the next seven days, your general and love energy, the current person on your mind, any new love potential coming your way, and the potential between you and each zodiac sign, um, whoever you're thinking about. So make sure to hit that like and subscribe, it does help my channel grow. If you'd like a personal reading, that information is down below. And if you'd like to hang out with me and get a little more personal and do weekly energy checks, you can join my membership as well. Uh, we talk about different topics weekly. All right, so let's go into November, this next seven days for you. What is the energy? All right, so I do see some repairs, assessments, and I see uh, news coming in for you. So I like to look at things in cycles, and I'm getting the number six, seven, eight for you. So you've, you've, past the turning point in your life in a situation, um, things are obviously moving more towards the final stages of a situation. You've got Libra energy, Taurus energy, and Sag energy. So, you know, maybe you're going to get some news um, from somebody, communication. Uh, this could be a week of very strong opinions. So you are somebody who has very strong opinions. You may be speaking up and speaking your truth to somebody this week. All right. You're assessing a situation you've been evaluating, um, reviewing what's been going on, you've been taking a look, and there's just something where you just feel like speaking up. Um, this could be something really good for some of you if you're into social media or um, you have a job or something where you you love to get the news, right? You may be sharing some good news this week. Um, there's a lot around public speaking and speaking up truth, all right? So I do feel for some of you, this could be something that you're being called to do too, Maybe Maybe you're being called to, you know, start your own channel and talk about what your truth is and your opinions, right? Um, it's about expressing yourself, right? So pay attention to news this week as well as things that are trending. There could be something coming your way. I do see um, there's a repairman, so there might be some repairs this week. You might have to take some time to look at what needs some fixing around your house with you, restoring, upgrading, making adjustments this week as well. Um, I'm also getting, make sure to read the fine print and evaluate your options this week when it comes to making decisions. Uh, just anytime you go to sign something or do something, just make sure you know what you're signing and what you're doing um, and making sure that you're aware and checking all the details of everything this week. This could be coming in with relationships too. Are you checking all the details? Um, make sure you're doing your research if you're talking to somebody. All right. I, I, I don't, you know, I... I I have to say this. All right. Speak in your truth. All right. For some of you, you're talking to people. Make sure you're talking to the right people and you're not being catfished. All right. Just bottom line. All right. Make sure the person's being honest with you. Really use your higher judgment. Assess the situation. Ask yourself really honest, truthful questions. Is this too good to be true? Or, you know, and it's just... Proceed carefully for some of you with certain situations that you're in. And for some of you, you know, like it's just about maybe things are the way they seem, but just, you know, read between, read the finer details, whatever you're doing this week. Let's see how the week unfolds for it, my Aries. Let's see how the week unfolds. For my Aries, ooh, partnerships and alliances. Let me um, turn the camera angle over. Sorry about that, guys. Um, some of you guys might be getting some new eyeglasses this week. Maybe you got to get your eyeglasses repaired. <laughs> All right, enough. Some of you could be starting a podcast. All right. So we see partnerships and alliances. So it's definitely maybe Aries for you this week. Maybe you're partnering up with somebody. Maybe you're doing something fun this week. Um, and things, you know, it's like a handshake. Things are going to work itself out. All right. So we do see repairman. So if there's been something that's been, you know, you're struggling with or something that needs some fixing, it seems like this week that you could be partnering up with somebody who can help you out. All right. Or some help or support coming in for you. This could be working things out in all areas of your life. Um, it's going to be different for each and every one of you. Right. But we see good supportive people come in your way. And we do see um, collaborations or things like that for you. So what else is coming through for Aries this week? This is a fun week for you. 
all right? Heart chakra, a lot around love, all right? Feeling supported, feeling love, giving, receiving love this week. And I do see victory and success. So that's like the six of wands, the energy. So I feel like for a lot of you, um, you're going to see that you're getting attention. Speak up this week. Um, or if you are starting something and you're getting noticed or it's work related or anything like that, you're getting a lot of attention this week. There's good news coming in for you. Um, if some of you have been dealing with some, some things that need adjustments or repairs in your life, there's success coming in. There's good news coming in for you. If you're getting your car repaired, good news coming in for you. All right. So if you're waiting on somebody, if you're looking for love, there could be some love online. There could be somebody trying to get your attention. There's good news coming in. We see victory. All right. Really feeling proud and confident this week. You've worked really hard to get where you're at and you're being noticed this week. So I love this energy for you. Look at this. You got the card of intuition, which is like the high priestess energy. You could, sometimes I look at that as my secret admirer. You could have an online secret admirer, somebody who's fallen in love with you, um, wants your attention. They could be partnering up with you. They could be offering some sort of offer just to get to know you. Um, you never know. But trust your intuition. Follow your gut. Follow your inner guidance. And again, when we see evaluate options and assess situations, really go with your gut and trust your intuition this week. All right. I do see destiny's calling you. So something's changing in your life with this destiny card. Um, an unexpected turn of events, positive turn of events coming your way, especially with the six of wands. Uh, some luck on your side uh the wheel of fortune does bring in like you know it's one of those uh i used to you know be like you know it seems like right at the edge when you think that something just isn't going to work out all of a sudden boom something works out right um it's just very good success is a turning point in your life this week in certain areas of your life so let's see love for you and the current person on your mind love for Aries this week. What's the energy? What's the possibilities this week of love? Would you see the destiny card? Maybe some unexpected turn of events in a relationship. Maybe receiving some news. Um, maybe somebody announcing something to you. Maybe something publicly. You might be announcing your relationship publicly this week. Or somebody's announcing in front of the world how much they care about you or how into you they are, right? So you never know. So I love the destiny card with the microphone card. It could be a Sagittarius. It could be a Taurus Libra, Taurus um Aquarius, Scorpio, Cap, um, can't be Capricorn, but um, Leo, Leo energy. All right, so something, some good news coming in for you. So let's see what the relationship energies come up for. For you, the current person on your mind. All right, there could be different storylines. Something might have gone up in smoke. All right, so let it go if it has. All right, but something that may have disappeared or gone up in, up in smoke where you thought disappeared could be coming back around as well, too. So always be prepared for that. I do see long term. So there's a long term relationship potential coming in for you. Um, swept off your feet. So you may, like I said, somebody might be in la la land over you. Somebody could be, um, they see you and they are just you know, oh my God, I've got to have Aries, right? And this could be long-term potential relationship. We got realization, light bulb going off. So again, somebody could be all of a sudden just seeing you. Um, the light's been shown on you. You're in the spotlight with this six of wands energy. Um, somebody didn't realize who you were. They may have heard who you were or heard your name, but now they're seeing who you are. And they're like, holy shit, Aries, right? Um, we have a realization. Somebody may be realizing like, you know what? I do want a long term relationship. I want to see where things go. Uh, so this could be a major turning point in a, a love relationship this week. Let's see who this person is and anything else spirit wants you to know about this person. I have the Queen of Pentacles just fell out. So we're seeing Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We're seeing somebody who's very grounded. This could be a very wealthy person coming your way too, especially with the Six of Wands. This could be somebody who's in the spotlight, somebody who's um, already successful um, and somebody who admires you. Uh, somebody who's very, very wealthy, grounded. Um, and wealth can be in all different ways. It doesn't have to necessarily be money. It could just be wealthy um, and just everything in their life seems to be perfect, right? They just have everything they need, uh, very abundant, very nurturing, very down to earth, very practical. It's somebody who takes their time, um, you know, when making a, a decision. So if they're finally, you know, they've come to some realization that this is what they want, trust that this is what they want. They know they want you. All right. So what else can you tell me about um, this connection uh, with 
with the Aries, the current person on their mind. You know, I know it sounds like a new person potential too, but it could be how you met this person or how you know this person. Um, I do see the five of cups in reverse. So it could be somebody that's like six of cups, somebody coming back around to reconcile. I do have the nine of wands. So this is somebody that's been through a lot. This could be a, somebody who's a vet, somebody who's been, you know, a vet in something, right? But they've got a big heart. And so they definitely are a little bit guarded when it, when it comes to making decisions. Uh, they may view you like that too area is like you're a soldier you know that's your stereotype right um but it seems as though the nine of wands says i am not giving up on this this person is persevering and this person is not going to give up on this connection with you I see the six of pentacles. So we see a gift coming in, an offer, an announcement, like I was saying, or somebody wanting to bring a balance to this relationship. This is somebody who's very sincere about their intentions when they come towards you this week. If there was any kind of setback, it's because this person um, pays it. They, they, they overanalyze everything. All right. It's somebody who has to analyze the shit out of everything before they make a decision. All right. They've been through enough. They've worked really hard to get to where they're at. And so they want to make sure all the pieces fit and that's it right you might be somebody who's impulsive ready to go this is somebody that says whoa wait a minute i want to make sure um everything all the t's are crossed and i's dotted six of pentacles shows that very sincere very generous energy somebody who really wants to give to this relationship and somebody who may be bringing in an offer for you or bringing some sort of balance this week uh, to the relationship i do see the four of wands so the four of wands can say i want to build the future i want to take the next step um let's go um it could be moving in together it could be taking the next step with this person this week so um it could be buying a home with this person or they want to make something real they might even ask you to marry them if this is something that's been going on for a while um but it is about, you know, we did have the um, announcement and evaluating options and estimates coming in. So uh, you could be purchasing something together or deciding to move in together, right, uh, this week. So would you see the four of wands as a reunion? It's happiness. It's coming together. It's hanging out. It's some major milestone, right? So it could be an anniversary. You guys, finally, this could be an important date for you this week where you're celebrating an anniversary or this is the first time you guys finally, you know, decided to be in a relationship. Uh, it could be a very important date for you and this person this week. All right. The sun card is coming out for you guys. There's a lot of love there. Um, this could be potential marriage for you guys, but these two cards here could end up in um, a union like that. Uh, a lot of happiness, a lot of positivity, a lot of luck around this person who's on your mind. I'm getting strong, earthy energy, and I'm getting strong, like fixed energy, which is Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio. All right. So you might, there's a promise here this week for some sort of, um, you know, solidifying a situation here or somebody announcing what they really truly want in a relationship how does this person feel about you this may not resonate with any everybody it depends on what the story is between the two of you um so this part is you can take it or leave it how do they feel about you besides super happy when they're with you uh we do have the sun card which shows a lot of joy and happiness and heart chakra from the beginning here where the heart chakra really does talk about a deep connection i feel like i ruined everything you are the person of my dreams and i feel terrible for hurting you if i've hurt you in the past all right and i wish i could take it back for some of you so let me get one more Somebody, you know, jealous and possessiveness is coming out here. So when we see the jealous and possessiveness, it could show something that was happening between the two of you or make sure jealous and possessiveness doesn't, you know, maybe there has been a conflict or an argument. This person feels like they're very popular or you're very popular or something's happening here. So there could be a lot of jealous and possessiveness between the two of you that needs to be reconciled in order for this to move forward. Uh, trust needs to be built here and really look in between evaluating the situation and making really higher judgments you know it seems like this person really loves you and it seems like um, the jealousy and the possessiveness might be something that doesn't need to be there all right you may say differently um, but I say that all right 
Let's see new potential, new person this week. It does seem like you might get swept off your feet or somebody might just find themselves in love with you. All right, realization, the light bulb going off. Who is that Aries walking by? Somebody, you know, I see the microphone. So maybe you're out at a bar, you're out at karaoke, you're out at something and somebody's just like serenading you. I don't know, Aries, maybe. All right, maybe I'm corny. Let's see. New person, new potential here. It's potential for long term. This could come out of nowhere. Just absolutely the chemistry between you and this person seems to be unreal. You do have the card of long term. So it does feel as though um, you might be teaming up with somebody with that three of pentacles energy that uh, you guys have the same goals, right? But you've got to work through whatever, whatever obstacles you know obviously at the beginning of relationships i do see the hermit card the hermit card talks about a new journey a long journey ahead so for some of you who've been single be prepared to uh, get swept off your feet i see the prince of swords this is somebody who's very direct and who's going to speak their truth they're not afraid to hold back so this might be somebody who talks a lot who's very charming who is going to be outspoken they uh, and it's like that could be you but this person is going to be clear in their intentions and it looks like a lot of communication with somebody this week could be an Aquarius Libra Gemini as well I do see the Knight of Pentacles, right? So it's somebody who is hardworking, somebody who takes love serious. It's somebody who's for ready for commitment, somebody who's ready for long term. I do have an earthy energy there too, which is um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But this is somebody who's very dedicated, so they're slow to give their heart. And I saw that with the Queen of Pentacles in the last reading, which can all combine as the same energy in your reading. But it's somebody who works really hard for what they've got, and they pay attention to all the details but just know that as hard as this person works, they will work that way in a relationship with you. They take things like everything serious. So that's why they might be slow to commit at first and things might move slow. And it might be saying maybe move slow with this person and see where it goes. You might want things to move really fast with this person. But this, you know, you might be swept off your feet. Um, but it might be about taking things a little bit slow this week and being clear about your intentions with each other and see where things go. Because the Knight of Pentacles is an awesome card to get when it comes to love relationships. Because um, the turtle wins the race. I do have the Empress card, so we're seeing um, a lot of attraction here, a lot of room for growth in this relationship. It's strong Taurus energy. This person's very attracted to you, um, you know, very abundant energy, very feminine energy, very fertile energy, very room to grow here. Uh, great sex in this, you know, a lot of chemistry in this relationship. And so I do see a possibility of unconditional love coming in for you. And this Empress card reminds me of trust. You always have to trust. Trust your intuition, trust your gut, trust trust in the situation and see where it goes. Um, but you have potential for a brand new beginning, especially for those of you that have been kind of solo for a long time. And I do see the seven of wands here and I see the eight of swords. So for some of you who've been solo for a long time, this is about letting down your guards and um, not being so defensive or being so protective, right? Open up to somebody that's trying to come into your life um, and don't let any kind of limiting beliefs or doubts get in your way see where this goes but remember trust your intuition if something seems too good to be true obviously read between the lines and um and do your research too as well all right so let's see aries through pisces let's see the potential for aries through pisces for this week for somebody that's on your mind aries through pisces All right, Aries, look at this. 
innocence. There's somebody that's innocently in love with you, another Aries, but also Aries. Somebody this week is really purely innocently in love with you. Uh, so just make sure that you're not wearing rose colored glasses and that you, you read between the lines because there is potential for true love this week. Taurus, watch very soon. If it doesn't happen this week, it's happening. All right. We have a lot of Taurus and earthy energy showing up for you. Gemini, all right, could leave you at the table. They might not show up this week. Uh, if they've done this before, they're going to do it again. All right. This person um, plays games or they ghost and they're insecure. Cancer, there's a pendulum swing here. So there could be another, you know, going back and forth with cancer this week. So you're going to have to make a decision about cancer. They can't seem to make a decision. Leo, stars are aligned. So you and Leo seem to be on the same page, desire one another, and there's a lot of attraction here. They think you're beautiful. All right, Virgo, all right, higher purpose. This could end up being a long-term relationship with Virgo. you got strong, earthy energy here as well. So very spiritual connection um, with Virgo. Libra, it could be a past love, past life. Um, we see reconciliation. We see definitely there's so much love here. Love conquers all. Scorpio, their heart is on lockdown, all right? So either they're in a relationship or they're just not ready for a relationship. And this week, it's not going to change. You may hear from them, but they're still, they're blocked, all right? Sagittarius, wintertime, you may find that things change between you and Sagittarius. Right now, they may be being cold to you. Capricorn in the spotlight. There's that Capricorn energy, earthy energy. So it seems like this person really wants your attention or you're getting their attention. Uh, Aquarius, we see they could be making a proposition to you this week. They could be wanting to take things to the next level, take things seriously. Um, Pisces is very possessive of you, mine. So there's that jealous and possessiveness energy here, but they want you. All right. Cloud nine. So somebody is in cloud nine over you this week, Aries. So keep your eyes peeled um, and see what happens. Good luck this week. I love you guys. Take care.